it's a very exciting time if you happen to be an avid video game fan because we're on the cusp right now as I'm filming this video of both Microsoft and Sony launching their brand new gaming consoles. The uh, Xbox Series X in the case of uh, Microsoft and the PlayStation 5 or PS5 from Sony. Now, as is usual, the number one thing that everybody's talking about are these new graphics engines to make a more 3D visual experience. And there are absolutely some incredible innovations going on. I think many people may not realize that a lot of the video processing technology that we take for granted in you know, our laptops or our phones, these things and pushing the boundaries of video display technology are byproducts of the gaming industry because it's so massively big and everybody, particularly Microsoft and Sony, keep trying to outdo one another. Now, while the focus is usually on video, and I understand everybody who's a serious gamer and looking to pick, pick up one of these new consoles, is trying to pick the, you know, which new 8K television or monitor that they're going to pick that has the lowest latency for the best gaming experience. Uh, you know, audio is a crucial part of the entire immersive gaming experience. You know, in the early days, it was sort of a throwaway. It's mainly what you're what you're watching, and and but, but as years have gone by, and these newer and newer generations of gaming consoles have come out, more and more attention has been paid to audio, and that's a good thing because it really adds to the experience. Now, if you are an avid gamer and you already have the previous generation consoles, there's a few things we need to talk about in terms of audio that are really important. These latest generation of consoles, both the Xbox Series X and the PS5, for the first time, are not going to have a digital optical output on them. So it's HDMI only or headphones plugged in. Now, that's a huge deal. If you have a system, you know, a soundbar, something that's built around taking that digital optical input, unfortunately, you're gonna be out of luck. Now, there is a potential workaround as long as you're not worried about getting the highest audio resolution and bit rate, and that is to connect the HDMI output directly to your television or display, and then often the TV will have an optical output so you can pass the audio back to your optical-only input system. So that was a major, major game changer. Now, the other one that is really upsetting a lot of, uh, a lot of people is that, uh, you know, many, many people use these gaming consoles because they are, they're very expensive as the center of their, their home theater system, their, their movie watching system. What I mean by that is why have a separate Blu-ray player when you've got an excellent one built into your gaming console? Why buy a streaming box or a smart TV if you can, you know, stream to your favorite, uh, stream your favorite movie and television streaming services directly from your gaming console? And that's what many people do. It is the heart and center of their entertainment system. Now, there's no problem with the Xbox Series X. Microsoft decided that they would follow, you know, some level of industry standard when it comes to audio and it will pass both Dolby Vision information and Dolby Atmos where compatible, both for games and for streaming and Blu-ray playback. So that's great. It all, of course, is only going to be available over that HDMI connection or headphones. Sony, on the other hand, did something very, very strange in my opinion. They decided to create their own 3D audio engine called Tempest. Now that's all well and good, but there's no fallback to provide Dolby Atmos out of uh, you know, Blu-ray or streaming playback or even the gaming. Now that's, that's awfully strange because while it will support Dolby Digital, uh, HD, DTSX, all of those things, it doesn't support the latest 
decoding format for movies and television. Now, they're saying that in the future, there will be uh, the ability to put this Tempest decoding technology in third part party uh, pieces of equipment like uh, you know AVRs and, and other things like that. But for the moment, you're out of luck. So if you're a serious video file and you want to use this new console uh, for playing back your Blu-ray collection and, and, and you enjoy Atmos, you're going to have to get the Xbox Series X. Now, the only way initially on the PS5 that you'll be able to enjoy this 3D Tempest engine for audio is on headphones. And of course, uh, Sony has their own Pulse 3D headphones that they want to sell you, and that's great. Headphones can be wonderful for giving a, a good immersive experience, but, you know, it's always better for those climactic uh, scenes in game playback where you've got thundering bass and low frequency to play it back over a complete home theater system with a subwoofer and everything else. So those are a couple of things um, to let you know about the audio side of the new gaming consoles. And, uh, you know, just like is typical for Microsoft and Sony, they're keeping everything close to the vest. And even though as I'm filming this, the release date is actually tomorrow for the new gaming systems. Uh, there is actually very little information. So the next few weeks, I'm sure we're going to see tons of unboxing videos and impressions and amateur and professional reviews, and we'll get some more information then. Maybe Sony will include Dolby Atmos at some point in the PS5. Thanks a lot for watching and enjoy these new systems.